Hey guys, Comet here. Welcome to episode 13 in my Factorio Odyssey series. Now, the first thing you'll notice is I'm out of power. And that's because with all of the new science that I put in in the last episode, I don't have enough power production during the night to keep the generators stocked with coal. So they end up running out of coal to power everything. So what I want to do in this episode, I have this basic solar panel set up for now without any accumulators, so it only produces power during the day. And during the night, I run out of power. So what I need to do is get a solar blueprint and make some solar fields down over in this area. We're almost to space science, and once I get some rockets going, I'm really going to need that extra power. Now I do have some solar panels and accumulators stocked up here, so I can try and come up with a blueprint for myself, or if I find it to be too difficult, I'll get one off the internet. So the optimal ratio solar panels to accumulators is, I think, 21 to 25. Yes, so for every 25 solar panels, I'm going to need 21 accumulators. And to get that into a nice grid isn't trivial, because I want to make sure everything tiles. And I do want to leave some space for maybe some roboports so I don't have to build this all myself. But accumulators line up with the substations like this. And then solar panels can go in the center. Oh, look at that. Research all technologies. And the only problem with this is that there's this gap here. So this won't work. Now if I just strung them this way, then I still have the one gap. But if I do that, then there's no gap. And if the accumulators go here on both sides, then I think we run into a tiling problem. Oh no, wait a minute. So this looks like it tiles in one direction at least. And the ratio here, 89 to 52. But these up here would actually be part of the upper section. So it would be this right here, which is 54 to 52, which is still not the perfect ratio. So I've taken a look at some blueprints and it looks like they all kind of follow the same idea here with a roboport in the center and then a 4x4 grid of substations. So I'm going to try and make something similar to those. This isn't working. I'm so close. Nah, screw it, I'll just use this one. So this one has roboports and walls and I looks like it has a perfect ratio too. So I'll leave a link to this in the description in case you're interested in using this for your base. So I'm going to run down over here to where I said I wanted to place them. And right about here should work. Let me switch back to my building armor. And the way I'm thinking about tiling these, I'm going to put it at the max distance for the substations like that. And then I can run between them in these gaps right here. Oh, but then the roboports won't link up. That may be a problem. Yeah, these are separate networks. That means if I want to supply solar panels and accumulators automatically, I'd have to supply each individual square. Ah, that'd be gross. So there's this one that is radar aligned. And when I go to tile this one, it looks like the roboports will always be connected to each other. So I only need to supply it at the beginning. Okay, I like this one more. I'll leave a link to... Well, I guess I could leave a link to both. You can decide which one you like more. But for me, I'm going to use this one. 
Now, to put this in the right spot, because it is chunk aligned, I need to press F4 and show the tile grid. Then it should fit perfectly within these three chunks here, like this. And so the edges of these dark lines should perfectly border the array. And then you can also bring this up with uh, shift space, but then it pauses the game, so... Now, why is this blueprint superior, in my opinion? Well, the way the radar works with this blueprint, I don't need to be anywhere near this array. I can be way over here doing something with the copper, and I can use the map view to stamp down the next one. And because the radar within this next blueprint here is seen by the radar in the previous blueprint, then the radar will keep expanding, and so I can see more spaces around the blueprint that's already there. So as I keep building it, it keeps revealing the locations where I need to add more. And some blueprints aren't aligned that way, so the radar gets into a spot where you actually have to manually walk over and reveal the map. Okay, so I'll get this plugged in to the main base up here. And I'll take out the old solar field and the steam power plants. Because I no longer need these. And then someone also pointed out uh, about my red circuit build that the copper wire that I took into consideration using the factorial calculator is actually for the whole process of green circuits and red circuits. So I need to redo the red circuit blueprint in this episode, get that updated. So all of these solar panels need to go, and I will get them stamped down in the new solar field. And this will make space for the green and red circuit builds. Now I will get blueprint number two in place. Blueprint number three. So solar power is free, but it takes a lot of space. And space is theoretically infinite in Factorio. It's just dealing with the biters is the problem. So I may, once I transition kind of into a later stage base, I may want to get some uranium power going. The only problem is that that's not sustainable into the very late game because of all of the fluid calculations the game needs to do. You drop so many frames. And the way solar panels are calculated, it's one entity with a multiplier by the number of solar panels. So it's super easy for the game to calculate that. But because there's so many pipes involved with nuclear power, there's a lot of active entities that the game has to update. So it looks like I have enough to power the base during the day. And if it's ratioed correctly, then I shouldn't need to put in any more accumulators. But I'll throw in one more array here, just to be safe. Because I think right now the base is kind of idle. Yeah, none of the labs are working because I need space science to do anything else. So this should be good enough for now. I don't think it will die over the course of the night. I do need to get the solar panels and accumulators connected back up to the bus. And then I want to throw some robots into the solar array so that it builds itself. And then I can belt down the materials, and I shouldn't have to worry about it until I run out of power again. That way I can focus on maybe redoing the oil and the circuit build. So it looks like we need, let's see, steel and green circuits here. And then copper can come in there. Oh, and... You also may have noticed that I've upgraded to blue belts now. So that will get these solar panels going again, and now I need to connect up the accumulators here. And it looks like it's just missing batteries. And batteries are here. 
So I'll clean this up a little bit. I don't think I need these offshoots anymore. And then right through here, I'm gonna drag down a battery line. And I guess I'll just grab some iron from here. And I basically have no batteries being made anymore because I have no sulfuric acid, because I have no sulfur, because I have no petroleum. So I really need to redo my oil processing. But I think before that, what I want to redo, now that I have the space for it, is the red circuits. So I will rip out this, and we'll come back to the calculator here. Let me change some of the settings. And we will remove green circuits. And now, the only thing this should be taking into consideration is the copper needed to make the copper cables for the red circuits, and not the copper needed to also make the green circuits. So this goes from 125 down to 50. So the ratio here, every 30 factories making red circuits, I need five making cables. So the way I want to do this, one, two, three, four, five, and then 30 after that. So all of these need to be set to red circuits. Then the first five here will be the cable. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we'll have green circuits and plastic down the center. So these we'll need to grab from both belts. Then they'll need copper wire in here. So if I do something like this, then I think it will keep up. And then for power, I could do something like this, then I don't think there's going to be room for lights. Maybe I could fit some right here. And then for outputs, I'll go here and here. And it's got to go under the power poles here. But this looks like it should be tileable. Like this, yes. So that is the left side. Let me get it connected in so that it'll start working again. So this line here is the copper plate. Actually, let me... Before I do that, I want to move this a little bit closer. So more like right here. Now the green circuits can come in here, so I don't need this old line. The plastic needs to run along to here. Copper plate is here. And then the outgoing red circuits are right here. And I may need to get the copper cable to share both sides of the belt. Right now it's only on that left side. Uh, but we'll see if any cable makes it down to here. It doesn't look like it does. Okay. So what I need to do then... have these come this way to here and then head on over that way so the red circuits need to take a little detour like that Okay, that looks pretty good now. 
Oh, where's my plastic? Why is there no plastic? I cut the water line when I was putting in this build. So we need to go around the circuits here. And I can connect into the old line here. So this needs to be mirrored now on the other side. And this should tile. Alright, beautiful. Get the copper connected in. I don't need this old one, and I think I can actually share this one line I have here like that. So I will blueprint this and update the blueprint in the Discord. Red circuits. I want to put in a new blue circuit build, but that is being limited by my Sulfur production here, which is limited by my petroleum production, so before I even bother with the blue circuits, I want to redo all of my oil here. So instead of piping it all the way down to here, I want to put the oil processing right next to the oil wells over here. And then I think I'll actually build this to start using modules and beacons. So I can copy this pipe setup for now. Now beacons can reach all of these refineries here. And then if I go under, then I can fit beacons here. And then all of them can connect together. For power, you can go right on the edges here. And then I want another row of beacons. And the chemical plants. So the ratio, when you have eight refineries, I double checked this now. It's a seven cracking light oil into petroleum, then two doing heavy oil to light oil, and then two doing heavy oil to lubricant. But I think I might have to put these closer to the left over here. And for plastic production, I can actually reroute some coal from here up towards the refineries and have the plastic made right next to the refineries. Because now I need to put my focus into making red circuits so that I can make more modules. Because modules and beacons are how you really progress into the later stages of the game once you have a reliable source of power. So the heavy oil come over this way. Plug into all of these. And the water... has to be routed in from over there. So the light oil, it will come in over here. Like this. And the water will do the same thing here. Now for outputs, the light oil can come this way. And connect in to right here. Then the petroleum See, I can connect up all of these together. The lubricant can come out this way. Yeah, I guess I'll send the petroleum out this way. And then it can join in to the petroleum made by the refineries here. Now getting water over here, it might actually be easier to grab water from over here. But then I have to bring a power pole all the way over there. Now I'll just use the starting water. 
This is gonna be a really long pipe. Wait, what am I talking about? Pumps don't need power. So the water can instead come in from over here. I just have to make sure there's sufficient flow. Alright, there we go. Water's connected up. So that should start all of these up now. I've diverted the crude oil so it no longer comes down this way. Let me get rid of these old pipes. And then this whole section here needs to go away. And I'll get all that stuff moved up to here. I want to try and reuse some of these beacons. So let's say I have these machines making plastic. Then I could have petroleum along here. I could have the coal input and the plastic output with some belt weaving. So this will go under, 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 and that should be balanced. Let me route some coal from this patch over this way. And that will be the plastic production. Now, if I want beacons here, I'll have to put some undergrounds. But then, of course, these don't output in the right spot. So I'll have to do this. And that can be my plastic output. Now, sulfur... That's on a ratio of 5 to 2. I need these to make the sulfur. So we can output sulfur here. under, and then have two machines here making sulfuric acid. You know, this, I think I can get away with doing this. Oh, and these also need iron. So that can come in from here. And I'll just grab whatever's left on the bus here. So the sulfuric acid can run out this way. I just want to make sure this works. All right, that's good. This can plug into where I have the batteries being made. And I also need to use the sulfuric acid for blue circuits. So there go the batteries. Now if I can get this lubricant rerouted, I think I'll find some space for plastic on the bus here. I want to pull these lines out still. I'll get all of this out of the way. And then redo all of these connections here. Okay, so this is much cleaner now. Actually, and one spot I missed here. There we go. Nope, one more, two more. Okay, that looks good. So plastic, it doesn't look like there's any more space inside of this bus here. So it will have to run backwards right here where the crude oil used to be. Oh, but then I run into... Okay. So all of these builds are gonna have to be moved back a little bit. So I'll copy the... batteries here. I wanna leave some space for blue circuits. 
So I'll put these about here. And this whole section needs to be redone. So I don't need this. Then I'll also copy this that makes all the robots and put it down in this area. Well, wait a minute now. I think I have... Yeah, I have flying robot frames on the bus. So I don't actually need this build. I can do a much simpler build that doesn't need all of the engines. And I don't really like my old blue circuit build anyway. So I'll go ahead and remove it along with the other stuff here. So the plastic can finally run along here. Then I think the last thing I need to get set up here is some way of detecting how much lubricant I have. So this pump will work only if lubricant is above 15,000. So all of the heavy oil should first be diverted into lubricant. And then this should get the red circuit started back up. And then that starts up the modules again. And so I'll go put these modules into, well, once they finish, I'll go put those modules into all of the oil processing. So now I want to put back in the blue circuit build. That way the modules keep going. So before, I think what I did was this. Then to connect the two sides together, I think I want to do something like this. Belts down the middle. Inserters here. And then red and green circuits can go on the outsides. Power poles fit there perfectly. I can get some lights in. And now to link the sulfuric acid together in the vertical direction. I have the horizontal direction covered already. I think what I might need to do is something like this. This looks pretty gross, actually. But I think it's the only way to keep it simple. And then it should tile very nicely in this direction. So I don't need this copper here. Get that out of the way. So I need to put blue circuits down this way. And they connect in all the way over here. And now that I know how much space blue circuits are going to take up, I can move this over. And then get the green and red circuits connected in. Now I just have to pipe in the sulfuric acid, which I think is back over here somewhere. Yep, here's the old line. So it looks like plastic is the limiting ingredient here. Let's see if I can module this a little bit. So to supply the solar panels here, or the solar panel array, I can drop off some stuff into these chests here. And then these robots should get everything built. So I'll throw in solar panels, accumulators, substations, radar, and some roboports. And for some reason, I'm out of power. All right, the sun's coming back. They should get these other sections built without me having to worry about it. I think it's all the beacons taking so much power. Now I'm pretty sure that's everything I wanted to get done in this episode. I fixed the red circuit build, 
I moved the blue circuits and batteries. I'm starting to switch to exclusively solar power. I got in this new oil processing plant over here, which still needs to be beaconed. And I've cleaned up a lot of these sections on the bus. I think the next episode, in order to keep the science going, I gotta get into rockets. So I'll come up with a space science blueprint to get started on some of these higher tier researches. I'll keep expanding my power production because I'm definitely going to need more power for space science. And I think between episodes, I'll get everything converted over to blue belts. You can see here some of this is still red belts and tier 2 assembling machines. So I'll get everything completely upgraded, then I'll start on the space science, and then I think after that I can start mapping out my train network. Because I do need to transition into trains here pretty soon. Because having these super long runs with belts like this won't work once I have to start pulling from patches way out here. Well, it'll work, it's just easier to have trains. And then, I think maybe two or three episodes from now, I'll cover nuclear power. Oh, did we just lose power again? No, we just lost power again. I guess I should stamp down some more of these, too, between episodes. And how are we doing on pollution? It looks like we're fine. I don't know what's at the very edge over here, but I haven't been attacked ever since I went out and cleared all the biters, so I think I'm good for a long time. Now, if you're interested in any of the blueprints that I'm using, then there's a link to my Discord server in the video description. Just make sure you click on the little thumbs up when you enter the welcome page. That way you get access to the Factorio text channel, where all of the blueprints are hiding. But anyway... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.